Hey guys, welcome to Superior Forging. Um, I want to show you a video on pressure jumps and how to do them and how I like to create them because you can create your own pressure jumps in the Halo 2 anniversary. Um, to start, actually, um, to start, as you can see, you can fly underneath it. You obviously you won't be able to um, to walk underneath it because it's just at that height where you can't get underneath it, but the way to get underneath these kind of jumps is you have to use a mongoose. Um, whoops. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Oh, that's a fail. Okay. Uh, okay. So, actually, what you want to do is you want to get on a mongoose. Um, you you have to get the mongoose underneath there to begin with. So, in order to um, to actually get underneath, is um, you have to crouch and then hold X. Oops, I jumped. Hold X onto the mongoose and then look down and hit X again, and you're underneath the um, the thing. Um, I actually like found this out because I was just forging race tracks and stuff and. I don't know, I was just playing around. I like jump maps a lot, so <laughs> I was just testing it out to see what would happen. And my I was I showed my friend Sane the Legend this and actually he was the one that found out that you actually have to crouch first in order to actually get underneath here. So as you can see you actually have to be in the crouch before like to get down here. But I'll show you later. Um basically what the spring jump does or sorry, um, pressure jumps or pressure launch, like makes you go really far. Uh, you can do this. You can actually go really far with this. Um, let me go ahead and show you how to build build one. Um, for the sake of this project, I'll just use uh, five by five. Pretty much what's already up on the thing. Um, so, um, just to show you, you can you can fill it with this how you want but I'm just gonna go to like for the base I wanna use 42.0 and then for the the higher part of the ledge you wanna have it hanging back a little bit um so like you wanna go up six points so that's one two three four five six and that's the minimum minimum of how how much space you can have um you might be able to go higher you know, to where you're not actually, to where you still can crouch underneath it. But um, I, I would think the lower you go, the better it would be without, with the mongoose still being able to drive freely down there. Because, you know, if you have it too tight, the mongoose won't move at all. And you're just, like, it won't work. So you want to have the sledge a little bit off. So you have, like, a support on the bottom. Um. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and make like, let's see here, um, make a ledge so I can actually get underneath it, and then I'll I'll only put down a gap or something to show you guys how far you can go or something. Let's see, it's four, uh, three, four. I'll just do uh, yeah, let's do five, six. All right. So that's enough. I'll probably over jump it or under jump it. I don't know. And then, um. These. So, to uh, get under there, do I have it right? Yeah. Okay. So you gotta you know drive underneath this little ledge, and then get off the mongoose. And then remember, you gotta like look where it's at, cause I get lost. And then you know like you have to actually crouch, hit X, and then now you're on the mongoose. And now when you get off, you're underneath the map, or underneath this block. And pretty much to make the spring jump work, or the pressure launch, um, you just want to get close to the edge and then like spam the A button when you uh, when you take off, so like that. Uh, yeah, I missed the ledge by a long shot. Uh, pretty much you could land on this ledge. You have to fiddle around with it um, for a good landing. But also what you could do is. But I'm gonna actually make a map eventually with this where um you jump 
<laughs> and um, here, let me do it again. With this pressure launch, um, it opens so many possibilities of what you could do, you know. So just landing on a ledge, you can land off of that and then, you know, like sequence into another jump where you absolutely have to nail both of these. I failed again. Um, <laughs> these these uh, pressure launches, they're, this is like, I don't know, maybe it's a little inconsistent or whatnot. I don't, I'm not really sure. Maybe I just suck at doing it. Uh, but you sometimes you go really far, and then sometimes you just don't go anywhere. So I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. There we go. You can see it. That was too high. Let me um, higher the ledge up a little bit. There we go. You go so far with these, and it's so cool. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's useless. Oh. oh no! Where's the mongoose? There we go. Alright, so. Get out the mongoose. There we go. As you can see, I went so far. <laughs> so, yay. Um, if you guys like jump maps, this could be pretty cool to put in one. Um, I made, I only made one so far with the competitive version, I guess you can count as two, I don't know. It's called a SF sequence. I didn't use, I didn't use this uh, pressure launch because I didn't know it was a thing and just found it. I found one in Halo 4, like, on the gate, but like, this is different where you can actually build them yourself. I don't know if you could ever do that in Halo 4, uh, never experienced it, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this is the pressure launch on Halo 2 Anniversary. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, see you next time.